Hi everyone, so today if you read the title then you know I'm going to be turning myself, well, I'm going to be doing, not turning myself into a brass doll, but doing brats doll makeup on myself. So basically I'm not going to be adding all the like extravagant things to make myself look like a doll. Instead I'm just going to use my features and do makeup on a brats doll on my already, my face. <laughs> So jumping straight into it, I chose, I tried to choose a brat doll that kind of had similar, first of all, makeup to what I have because I have a very limited selection because I don't really do very um, color-based makeup palettes on myself or I don't do makeup on myself that's normally with a lot of color. Plus, I don't have a lot of like lip gloss shades and stuff. So I tried to choose a brat doll that really kind of had makeup that fit what I already had in my limited selection I have my ipad right here just to pull up the pictures but i was also having a hard time choosing between just one doll so i kind of was like maybe maybe like a, for a little bit i can um i can you know take certain aspects from three different dolls and combine it all together because they're technically still brass dolls but it's like for example this one that i'm showing you right now i love her eyeshadow above her eye um, but the lip gloss, I don't have a lip gloss that looks like that. Plus, that type of lip gloss does not look good on me. I, I just already know. And then in this next picture with the four dolls, I absolutely love um, the lip gloss on um, the girl at the end, which I'm assuming is supposed to be Jade. I absolutely love her lip gloss and her hairstyle. But I, her eyeshadow is not, it's not very bold. I was trying to do more of a bold look. So I think I will be combining those two things. I think I'll do the eyeshadow and eye look of this doll right here. And then I will do the lip gloss of Jade. And then as for hair, I was nestle I was more so doing the makeup more than the the hair. But I think I will also try to do the hairstyle that Jade has in. Obviously not exactly the same because my hair is in braids. So... If you just see me looking over here, it's me just referencing my iPad right here that has the brat dolls pulled up in everything. So, yep, let's get started. Okay, so I don't know how oily my face looks on camera, but as a primer, I'm going to just be using um, my lotion that I already have on my face. When I normally do my makeup, that kind of helps because I put on a thick lotion on my face just because my face loves it. It's juicy. She like It's nice. So I'm gonna be showing you the makeup products that I'm using, but it's not, this is obviously not sponsored and I'm not necessarily recommending these products. I definitely one day want to be able to upgrade my um, makeup quality because um, some of these things, it's just like, we could, we could do a little bit better. But I'm going to call it concealer because that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do it first. I'm gonna be just trying to conceal all these dark marks because brats, clear skin all of them every single one so I'm going to be using these two products which I normally use um, they're both fit me um, this is a foundation and then this is a concealer but I use them together to basically conceal all my dark marks so we're just going to start there because I couldn't find one that was my exact shade so this light shade and dark shade combined help to kind of like cover up everything I got going on. I just want to say before we truly get started, I'm going to be a bit lenient with how I cover up my nose because I still, I'm healing this nostril piercing. Um, so, you know, I don't want to possibly get makeup on there. I do put a little bit right here, but you know, it's just, I'm just letting you know now I might be a little bit more cautious around my nose. Um, and then eyeballs. Okay, and then next I take this and I pour it forward and just wait till it comes out. And then we start doing these. Yes, I use my finger. I, I washed them, they're clean, and I've just found that this helps me kind of blend it out more than using a brush. So don't come for me.
Okay, so these past few minutes, I've literally been like filling in these spots and trying to think of a story to tell, and I literally can't think of anything. So let's not tell what I'll think of one later. But right now, I will definitely say that I am going to be turning 21 soon, like a month, a little over a month from now, um, which is not necessarily going to make a big difference since I personally um, don't like the idea of alcohol i'm just not i'm not that type of person i don't I, i'll go to a party but i'm i'm more of a um i wouldn't even call myself a homebody because i do like going out it's just like the places that i like going out to aren't necessarily like the club or you know the bar anything like that so turning 21 for me won't necessarily make a big difference seeing as you know i'm not eager to you know go drinking or anything but, you know, that's happening. Also, I made a video last week. Um, not last week, because this is going out a week later. I made a video two weeks ago. I'll link it down below. It's where I rank every anime I've ever watched. After filming that video, during the editing process, I realized I left out one anime. And that was Chainsaw Man. Like, I literally... I had, wa I, I had watched Spy Family, then I watched Death Parade, and then I watched Chainsaw Man. And I completely forgot to put it in there. So if you watch that video and you want to know where I would put Chainsaw Man, I would have definitely probably put it at, like, number six. Because I, I do enjoy that anime, and it definitely does fit the style of animes I normally like to watch. I'm going to try to attempt to do this eyeshadow look. So from what I can see, looking at the picture, it seems like it's... It's like a purplish blue. Also, I, as of for my limited selection, don't mind how this palette looks. I had to clean it. I for the let's start up here. For the longest time, I could not find this palette. I specifically got this palette because I wanted to be um, Baruka, the purple blueberry girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I wanted to be her for Halloween, and I needed purples, so that's why I got this palette. And then I just like I said for the longest I could not find it and the other night as in preparing for this video I looked under the sink and I found it but it was just the palette like this under the sink surrounded by chemicals so I had to I tried to in a way clean it up so that's why it kind of looks like this because I I swiped them I wiped the top layer off of all of them with a q-tip and then I wiped each of them down with alcohol so I don't know if it's showing up on camera but you can kind of see that so that's why it looks like this okay I, that's why because I cleaned it I'm trying to like because the can't the mirror is like making a glare but here are the colors we have to work with along with this mini oh Ooh. this palette is hold on let me do something because this is about to there we go <laughs> The, along with this mini palette right here, but I think with the eye look we're going for, it seems, let me try to block this, it seems like we would more so be working with like a, a mixture of this color and this color for the shine, and then this lighter blue, no, not that lighter blue. From what I can see, it might be this lighter blue, and then it goes for like a black and then it fades into both of these colors. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Uh, let's start. I don't want to. I need to fall out. I see the makeup gurus doing that. So let's do that. And I got this mini. And we're going to. Yes. Go right here. With this blue. And I'm probably going to. Keep putting it on there. Just to build it up. So there's a start not too bad not too bad oh and it seems like it's like right here as well so i'm going to put it right here um and then we're gonna go into this black right here i don't know how to try to clean this brush we're gonna go into this black to do this black i feel it's hard to see the black over her eyelashes because they're popping but we're going in with the black or yeah we're going in with the black just to like map things out, the black goes over. Trust the process. Trust the process. That's what we're gonna have to do. Cause I'm looking in the mirror right now. I'm like, ooh, 
Um, but yeah. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but like, I'm a theme park person. Like, I don't know if that was obvious by the countless vlogs I have of just year after year going to Universal, but I'm so much a theme park person. Like, I watch a bunch of people, um, I watch a bunch of different YouTube channels of people talking about different theme parks, going to different theme parks, reviewing different theme parks. Um, and I think that's just like absolutely so cool. I've recently got into watching, um, cruise content like people who their entire youtube channel is them going on different cruises and rating the cruise i think that's absolutely so cool i've never been on a cruise i've never actually even left america which i know some people's like oh you never left america babes it's harder than you think it is i've but no i've never left the country um so like the idea of a cruise and you know stopping in a different country and being able to go in explore for the day I think is absolutely cool and being like your job is you go on different cruises and you know review them that like that's cool as well now would I want to become someone who makes cruise content I don't know I don't think so mainly because I would prefer to be one of the people doing the theme park content okay now let's move on to this blue-ish purple yeah, I think we're moving on to the bluish purple. Um, so I think I'm gonna put the blue down first and then I'm gonna put the purple on top of it. Cause I think that would just, to give it that, cause it's, it's more of a purple in it than a blue, but it does have, definitely has blue hints to it. So I'm going to, and it seems like it goes like this. Oh, I guess I just drew the line to follow. It like goes up to her eyebrow like this kind of like that I guess I'm I guess I'm drawing myself lines to follow since I accidentally did it anyways made this TikTok a few months ago talking about the different um the different things like if you do this if you do this then we couldn't be friends and one of the things I said I'm gonna use a bigger brush for this one of the things I said was if you um if you can't walk around a theme park we couldn't be friends because for me like I like I said I absolutely love theme parks so I can't personally and I was talking to my sisters about sister about this and she completely agrees I can't go to theme parks with people who like continuously need breaks come on i need you to blend out more like work with me here who continuously need to take like a bunch of bathroom breaks a bunch of sitting breaks you know because i feel like there's certain things you know when it comes to going to a theme park you know you're going your feet are going to eventually hurt at some point in the day you know that it's going to be hot especially if you're going during the summer you know that um you're gonna have to be standing in lines for like a very long time hours depending on when you get there and what ride you're going to go on you just like these are just common things that you know so you know when i have to go with people who you know they're like oh i didn't know we were supposed to do this and they don't know how to pack that's one thing that always always has like gotten me it's like when people don't know how to pack for theme parks and i understand if you've never been to a theme park not knowing at that point i give you a break but it's like people who have been to multiple theme parks in their life like for example there's a theme park in the state that i live in and i've been to it with um multiple different friends and we've been multiple times and it's always the same thing when i go to a theme park the only thing i bring is a fanny pack because I personally do not trust the lockers or places they give you to put your um, items for when you go on these roller coasters. And if you bring a fanny pack, most of the time, you can either put the fanny pack under your shirt, which you're allowed to do. I'm not just saying, or they'll just let you take the fanny pack on the ride because it is on your person. There's, it's not coming off, basically what I'm saying. So they'll let you take the fanny pack on the ride. But the people, some people that I go with, even though they know that this is a thing, they'll still, like, bring, you know, 
a bunch of stuff. They'll bring their phone, they'll bring like a water bottle, like just so much stuff that you know you can't take on the ride. And like, I hate having to carry other people's stuff because it, it weighs me down. Like it weighs my fanny pack down. Yo, I'm, I'm really telling myself, trust the process. Just trust the process. Cause this brat stall looks bomb. But as of right now, I'm not feeling this, but we're gonna trust the process. I feel like I don't do this often. Like I don't talk about my other social media, but if you would like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I don't have a Twitter, then those are also linked in the description. I just feel like I don't say that often enough. So I don't know if people know that I have that social media. Cause I feel like people don't check the description unless you tell them to check the description. So I'm just letting you know that now if you wanna follow me on those social media. I do have them. I post a lot more on TikTok than I do on here. Cause you know, short form content is just easier to make on a daily basis. And I put a lot more effort into my YouTube videos, but this is, adding this purple on top is definitely giving us that shade that she has going on in the picture. So I'm happy I did that. Color theory. Okay, so this is what we have as of right now. I don't know how it looks on camera. When I, I, I kind of, I cut it out when I, but sometimes I, She's gonna stay down there. Sometimes I use this to kind of check since I'm using my back camera. I've been using this to kind of like check if the camera's still recording. So I can kind of, when I do this, I can kind of see how it looks on camera. And it, the colors do look a bit different on camera than they do in person, but we're not, we're not doing too bad. I hope they look about the same shape on camera. So we're going to move on to mascara. Cause I don't, I don't know what else I would have what to do. So I'm going to start with, I normally start with, when I'm doing my makeup on myself, I normally just start with my wings. But since, um, I have, I have eyeshadow on and it's a little less forgiving. I would have to redo the eyeshadow if I want to redo my wing. I'm going to start with this part. I'm going to do that part first and then I'm going to go in and, um, do my mascara. I mean, do my wing. So I'm not going to do the entire thing because I do plan on putting on these lashes because I'm becoming a brat doll. Like, why wouldn't I have lashes on? So I'm, that's where I'm going to stop because you're not going to be able to see past there. But so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm going to do the other side and then I will be back with you again. Okay, so I did take a bit of creative liberty on the front. As you can see in the picture, she doesn't have these wings. But I just, I, I love the wings in the front, so that's why I did them. So next, we're going to be doing the wing in the back, which seems to be at, at like an upwards angle towards the, um, towards the eyebrow, which what I'm going to do is try to match, instead of like kind of following the picture, I'm going to, on me, try to match, try to match from my eye to where my eyebrow goes. So do it at that type of angle. So I'm going to pull this closer to me. I'm sorry if it ends up blinding the camera. I just, I kind of want to be able to see when I'm doing my eyeliner. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be quiet now because I, I just can't talk when I do my eyeliner. But I'm using this first to draw the line. And then I'm going to go back in with my um, liquid eyeliner to actually draw it. So, okay. So beyond this like tiny, tiny hiccup that I tried to cover with a bit of a uh, bit more eyeshadow I think I think they're pretty even I think they're pretty even <laughs> so next thing I'm going to do is if you can see on the picture she kind of has this um these little um extra lines I'm going to um do that on myself so again I'm gonna have to be quiet and then we're gonna go in with some black on my waterline which I'm a bit nervous to do but we're still gonna do it because we're becoming a brat doll so we have to so that's how they look the two little lines i hope they didn't mess up what i was going for but i think they look pretty pretty decent i don't think they're it's not winning any fashion shows but it's pretty decent okay so next i have this um this black oh there we go this black liner right here which i'm going to use to go into my water line i've never done a water lined my water line so i'm definitely going to be quiet because i'm also wearing contacts so i don't want to get this in my eye and also get it under my contact so let's let's do this
Okay, so I did my best with my waterline. I don't think I messed up anything too terribly. So this is where we have right now. Next we're going to, okay, so next we're gonna go, um, what else? I guess next we're gonna do the blush. No, mascara, obviously. Next we're gonna do the mascara and then I'm going to do blush and then lips. And then we're gonna do the, the lashes. So what I'm going so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips with this same exact thing I was using on my waterline because it doubles as both. But now I gotta go sharpen it. I'm a bit nervous because you know the lips practically tie a whole entire look together. So if the looks lips don't look good, then the look doesn't look good. And I'm not even sure I'm liking this look right now. It's it's a yes, but it's also a no. But I think it might be also because I'm not used to looking like this. So I have to a little bit we'll just see what happens i'll start lining and then we'll just see what happens <laughs> i think we all know who i look like right now i think we all know who i look like right now <laughs> okay and believe it or not we don't need to line the inside of my lips because this black once i put like a gloss over it it's gonna go everywhere so i'm gonna get the gloss from the beauty supply obviously because there, there's you can't really beat that beauty so beauty supply shine this is what we got so far now i'm gonna go into the lashes I'm so excited. I don't get it. I don't get to put on lashes often, so I'm excited. Okay, and so for this part, I'm not going to show you my face because then it's going to kind of reveal the surprise. I'm going to go do my hair, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished look. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished look. This is the closest thing I could find with some blue in it. Looking in the mirror after like getting dressed, I don't know how it looks on camera, but I I low I low like low key though, low key, <laughs> low key I like it. I do I do. It's very different than what I'm used to. Um, obviously I normally don't put on lashes or do eyeshadow, but like. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do a photo shoot and put it on Instagram. Um, those pictures are probably going to be up before this video. So they're going to be up by the time you see this video, basically. So if you want to go see those, my Instagram is linked in the description down below. Um, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but I really do like it. I think maybe next time I would have chose a different color, like a different eyeshadow color that more so matched my color palette that I have going on right now but I'm lucky I found this top that has kind of like the same shade of blue in it so I feel like the blue kind of makes it this part pop um but yeah um yeah I like it I like it would I do this again like would I actually go out in um sorry I've been looking in the mirror the whole time but I'm also looking at y'all would I actually go out in makeup like this I don't know maybe if I had a bunch of friends with me I'd feel confident enough to go out and makeup like this um or if I was just like f it let me just go all out pick another brat stall randomly and do my makeup like that and then go out maybe maybe but yeah um that's all like I said the insta pictures for this look will be on my instagram if you want to go and watch it like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more of me if you would like me to try to do another brass dolls makeup put it in the comments down below i might honestly do it because i did enjoy doing this but yeah i hope you have a good day night weekend weekday um and bye